So this is number two on page 39. It tells me that this measures four feet and this is two feet. The measure here on the base is 12 feet and this piece is X, so that's my unknown. I want to set up a proportion so that I can figure out what this missing side is. One ratio equal to the other. So let's just say I decide to put the two right here. What number can I have right here below? Four. four. Sure, I can have two and four, which means this ratio is everything having to do with the small triangle, okay? Small triangle, which means that this one has to do with every number for the large triangle. But again, let's find those corresponding sides. This four corresponds to which side here on this bigger one? Twelve. Twelve, because they're both on the bottom since they're facing the same direction. And then I know that this piece corresponds to that piece right there. And so obviously this two corresponds with this unknown of my x. Now since the two corresponds with the x, the x needs to belong right up top here, my unknown. That leaves me this empty space, which is going to be what? 12, because the 4 corresponds with this 12 foot side. Okay, So this ratio I decided was going to be the numbers having to do with the small triangle, and then this ratio are the numbers with the large triangle, or the big one. Okay, Now what do I do? Hold on a second. At this point, there's a couple of options I can do. Did you say something, Malcolm? I can cross multiply or I can simplify. You can pick either way. So if I cross multiplied, I'd have 4 times x, which is 4x. My equal sign comes down. 2 times 12? 24. 24. Am I finished? No. No, what do I have to do? Divide by 4 on both sides. 4 over 4 equals x equal sign. And how many times does 4 go into 24? Six. 6 times. Which tells me that this missing length is 6 feet. Let me show you another way to do it. If I decided to not cross multiply, I could have seen maybe a shortcut. Does anybody see a shortcut here? Terrence? You did? Okay, hold on one second then. KK? Good. 4 times what gives me 12? So we said 4 times 3. So then 2 times 3 will give me my answer 6. There's another way. Can I simplify 2 over 4? Yeah. Yes. To what? One Good. 1 half. So that kind of works the same way. I can either say 2 times what gives me 12. So that times that will give me my answer. Or I could cross multiply. Where I'd get 2x equals 12 then divide and still get 6.